How to disable a user account with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module user. The full name is Ansible dot builtin.user, which means that is part of a collection or module built in with Ansible and shipped with it. It's a module pretty stable and out for years. It manages user account. It supports a huge variety of Linux distributions, SunOS, uh, macOS and FreeBSD. For Windows, use the ansible.windows.win underscore user module instead. This module has many parameters to perform any task. The only required is name, that is the username. The parameter state allow us to create or delete a user. In our case, the user needs to be present on the target system. Uh, the password underscore lock parameter specify to lock the user password. This parameter use the passwd tool on Linux machine to disable a password by changing it to a value which matches no possible encrypted value. By here it had an exclamation mark at the beginning of the password. This password does this parameter does not disable the user, only lock the password. Attention. This parameter does not always mean the user cannot log in using other meta. Every the shell parameter specify the user shell. A very special shell is the no login. When a user with that shell logs in, they will get a polite message saying this account is currently not available. This message can be customized with a file etc slash no login dot txt. So combining together password lock and shell we obtain the disable of a user. Let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook to disable a user account. Welcome to my editor. I will demonstrate you a simple Ansible playbook about how to disable a user. So first of all, let me begin with one play named user module demo. Let me specify the host, the target host that are all in my case. And I need a privilege escalation, so become true, because only root can modify the user table. And let me define one variable, for example, my user. I'm using example in my case, but you can customize with a proper username. Then on the task list, there is only one named disable user, which is going to use the ansible dot built in dot user module with four different parameters. The first is name, that is the account name, in my case the value of my user variable, and then the state need to be present, which means the user exists. Then let me set the password lock to true, and let me assign the shell to slash bin slash no login. Here we are. This simple playbook is going to set the preference of example. If it's not present, it's going to create the example username. 
set the password lock and assign the shell to no login. The result will be a user present on the system that can be can have uh, all the file but is not able to access the system. Welcome to my console. First of all, let me connect to the target machine. In my case, I'm using SSH, DevOps as username and demo.example.com. Then I need to switch to root account because it's the only one having user privilege. So sudo su. Let me verify the user that we are going to create example does not exist on the target machine. And let me take a look on the passwd file that is not present. So I think we can exit, log out this system, double exit because from root and from normal user and let me execute my Ansible playbook. So ansible-playbook-e my inventory file and then my playbook. I'm expecting a changed status which means that some action are performed on the target machine. Here we are. And let me execute again so you can verify the hidden potency of the script, which means that return OK if no action are going to perform on the target machine. Now let me connect again to the target machine with DevOps at demoexample.com. Let me become a root and let me list the with get and pass wd. Here we are, the last entry is my user example and we can verify that the shell parameter is slash sbin slash no login as we expected. Let me also verify the password lock present and it is, so this is a good sign. Just double check how the password lock is performed, going having a grab of example user in slash etc slash shadow. And as you can see the user example, and then we have a column and the second parameter is the hashed password. In my case, there are two exclamation mark, which means the user has no password assigned and the first exclamation mark means the password is locked. So good job. Now you know how to disable a user account with Ansible. Subscribe to channel to not miss the next episode of Ansible Pilot and have a great day.